Welcome into the Dad Verb Podcast, where we chat about parenting from the lens of a dad. My name is Andrew, and on this episode, we are going to be chatting about gifting. Uh, we are in the midst of the holiday season, and we wanted to bring to the table a few gift ideas for other dads out there, other friends of yours, or your spouse, right? So each of us uh, brought a couple ideas to the table. Some of the things are going to be from our personal wish list. Uh, some of the things are uh, going to be from my wife's wish list that you guys might be able to latch on to and take that as a good idea. Uh, and I do want to uh, say that, you know, we are not being sponsored by any of the things that we're going to be talking about in this episode. Uh, but if you do check out the show notes of this or the description of the YouTube video, there are going to be links to some of their products. And some of those links are going to be affiliate links. So I just wanted to be upfront about that. Um, that is a way to help support the dad verb podcast. If you do consider, uh, you know, buying through those links, if any of these things that we're going to be talking about piques your interest. So please consider doing that. With that said, we're going to dive in, but first we have to do our sick check. Uh, I am joined by my hosts, Ben Brown and Andrew Saunders. How's everyone's health? Hey. Uh, ben, we'll start with you because you were sick last time. Our family was down last time. What's going on now? yeah so we're we're like 50 50 so i think we're my daughter's kind of got a cough a little bit of boogers she's got a bunch of teeth coming in so not really sure what that is um, yeah, yeah. but my son's doing well and the rest of the family is good so real solid dude I'll take i like it. this andrew nice. uh we are still good i'm happy to report that we did the 30 kid Thanksgiving all day event and two of the other children got sick. We have not gotten sick yet. So <laughs> I'm going with genetics and immune systems for the win on this one. Um, yeah, still, Freaking. still healthy. Dude, <clears throat> keeping it, keeping it uh, healthy in the Saunders house. So proud of you, man. You, you you've got, you've, we you're, try. you've got, you've got the best record of any of us. This is great. Uh, so Good for you guys. Um, I, uh, we're to be fair, they might be getting sick, and I'm just like, wipe that snot off what your are... face. Keep running around, play. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've gotten so much more paranoid. All right, real quick, before we get into the episode, I do want to ask you something. When when we are when me or, or my wife, we get sick, right? We just like all like lovey dovey intimacy like goes out the window, and I don't kiss or like hug. We don't like touch for like the duration of the sickness, like. We, Joe, we yeah. just don't. No. Yeah. I'm like, wait, is that normal yeah. to just shut off all yeah. sense of You're like gross. love and compassion? Go away. Yeah. 100 percent yeah. normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, like... it's completely normal because because you have kids, and having uh -huh. kids means you don't want to you don't want to increase the size of the petri dish, right? Yes. So like, whatever you can do to like just stay away from each other to hopefully <laughs> maybe one of you stays sick because or or stays healthy long enough that by the time you get sick, the kids are, or the kids are better. And then the other one is better so that they can help take care of the kids. Yeah. So somebody's going to take one for the team and get the kids sickness. Yeah. And then the other one's got to stay healthy. So by the time the kids come around and this one's sick, that you can take over. Yeah. I Nothing like how is Ben's logicking it out. I, I, he's yeah. logic and I'm just like, no, this is Ernest Saves Halloween and I am not kissing you, you <laughs> goblin with snot all over your face. Like, not happening. You stay over there. Dude, we've had like a terrible run of sicknesses and Katie's still like on the – she's had like this lingering cough. I don't know if it's like developed into a sinus infection. But I swear, I haven't like kissed my wife in like three weeks. Uh, we just like – I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to get this. Start new work soon. So anyway. All right. So that's our rundown. Uh, looks like we were all fairly healthy. So it's, it's good. It's good leading up to the um or uh well when you guys hear this this is kind of uh post thanksgiving so uh well you're kind of in the throes of, of holiday shopping it's just crazy that the deals have uh, have already kicked off uh but we're gonna go ahead and start with gift ideas for dads maybe what we'll do is we'll you know we'll kick it off with ben then go andrew then go me uh and then repeat ben andrew me and then we'll switch over to gift ideas for our spouses so um let's just dive right into it these again these are none of this is sponsored but if, if any of this stuff piques your interest go and check the show notes uh, or the description of the youtube video and um and and be sure to click on that ben let's kick it off to you man what is gift idea number one for dads aka gift idea wish list for ben 
Yeah, man. Gift ideas. So uh, as we talked about on the show, I'm big into just the stuff I carry in my pockets, right? Like I, I love having like a good quality pocket knife, good multi tools, um, notebooks, wallets, all kinds of stuff. So one of the first gifts that I think is probably one of the most useful that I've had, and I'll, I'll actually share two because these are both kind of pocket items. Um, so first of all, I think every guy should have a pocket knife. I think that's just a staple tool and it's super useful. But if you're just a pocket knife, one of the most useful things is I'm holding it in my hand. If you guys are watching the YouTube video, this thing is called the SOG Power Pint. Um, it is a super tiny, like pocketable multi-tool. Uh, it's got like a saw blade on it. It's got a couple of different um, knife blades, Phillips head, flat heads, files, little tiny scissors, all kinds of stuff. This thing fits not only in your pocket, but it also fits very neatly inside of a bag. I think they're under 50 bucks. Like I think they're probably around the 30 to $40 range. Stocking all stuffer. Metal construction. Um, yeah, great stocking stuffer. And it's something that it feels like overkill when you're carrying it. Like, oh, when am I going to need a multi-tool? And then you run into a situation where like your stroller breaks or you need to unscrew something or you got to fix something on the fly. And that's exactly when you need a multi-tool. Mm -hmm. um, and it's lightweight enough that it just sort of disappears in your pocket. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, kicking it off strong with a good piece of dad gear. I mean, and knowing Ben guys, he is really holding back a little bit because if you talk to him about EDC, he can just go on for years, man. So I'm telling you right now, like, was, uh, <laughs> I mean, he's, uh, and, and he's bringing that episode about what's in my pockets. Oh, literally, to literally. To be fair to him, I carry two multi tools, right? How many do you carry, Andrew? Uh, I just one. Any? Just no, just yeah, just one. one. Yeah, I, but I don't always have it on me, but like it's it's like some generic thing that i got from like rei once i don't even remember what it's called i don't know the, i'm it's it, i know i know it's sad but i do i do it's have a multi -tool. i got a leatherman <laughs> micro and a leatherman uh what is t t4 t something that i carry as my my like knife knife there you but go but it's got all the fun toys on the other the end main knife, so. knife. the one that i have is Mul the one that i like tools. the most that's a good one yeah all right. Um, all right. Number two, uh, what you got, Andrew? So I love to cook. Um, mine is not an item. I can give you an item if that's what we want to do, but mm -hmm. kitchen gadgets. I, I favorite them all. I like them. I throw them in shopping lists. I never buy myself kitchen gadgets. I always buy myself like appliances, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. Some of my favorites are like the automatic pot stirrer that my wife got me last year, or the year before. You push a button, you put it in some cool. you put it in some sauce. It just sits there and it stirs the sauce, and it's like I don't have to scrape cheese sauce off the bottom of a pan for over a year because it just keeps it moving, right? Um, so that's one under fifty bucks, really cool, fun little gadget. It's it's not so you can like keep something like you can't pile rice in one corner and pork in the other corner and expect it to make a nice blend right it's <laughs> i've got everything going it just needs to marinate for half an hour i've got the thing on low and something needs to constantly keep it moving hit the button set it in kitchen gadgets all right totally me, worth it run me through price right now on that uh, that one's under 50. I've got a couple others that are a little more expensive. Like yeah, I have a KitchenAid yeah. mixer. So any of the KitchenAid attachments are always great mm -hmm. gift ideas for me. Yeah. Um, the, the pasta maker, the, is one I've got already. The cheese grater I've been using constantly mm -hmm. recently. Those are two great ones. Um, yeah, that those rotating, like the, the grater attachment is yeah. one of the most useful things we've ever gotten as a gift. Yep. I think we actually got it for our wedding. But um, oh. we're big into making it in the summertime. We make like cucumber salads and stuff yeah. a lot. Oh, like yeah. kind of Perfect for that. Salad where you really want it like really yep. thinly sliced. Mm. And instead of having to sit there with a mandolin and do it over and over again, you just, you know, uh, skin your cucumbers, throw them in there, and you get these beautiful thin slices where yep. they all just kind of melt it's, together. Dude, um, it's a great and it's tool. So useful for doing so many things. That Yo, one's a little more expensive. On That's that. like the $150, $200 range for the the it's a KitchenAid mandolin is what it is, but mm -hmm. that thing is great. Especially if you, again, like the summer salad piece, I'm a paper thin yeah. 
So I always yeah. get the mandolin out and my stuff's like trans Dude, you yeah. have to carry it up and you can see <laughs> through it, right? You but, just sold me on that. I love that idea. That one that I one's actually super cool. cool. Yeah. You know, the kitchen I, gadgets. Is, that's uh, category. Along those lines, like there's a, we recently started making this it's oh, I forgot what it's called, but it's a it's like a Japanese dish where you basically just have like thinly sliced cucumbers and you have white rice vinegar. Uh and like I think it's like a little bit of sugar. Um and um and I think you top it off with like uh sesame seeds. And it is delicious. It is such a so simple it's like cucumber like, salad. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because you guys yeah. are talking about the cucumber salad, but it's basically very, like Japanese. Simple, yeah. You just described coleslaw. You just made it with cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I have actually to look it back up to right the mandolin. Now. Do oh, wait, some do some cabbage this summer, Ben. When you when oh, you go yeah. to do the mandolin, thinly sliced cabbage, and if you can find it, a carrot vinaigrette. It's absolutely amazing. It's just that light, that really good. uber thin Suno cabbage Mono. in that. It's called Suno Rich. Mono Sour. Right. Has to quit the podcast and just go cook. Yeah, there we're all going to forget salad. it. Look up Suno we're Mono Sour. Suno Mono. All right, all right I'm gonna have to guys, put that in the so, show notes because somebody's going to be like, I need a recipe. So I'm going to lean into uh, kind of what some of the other guys are talking about here. And um, my, the first one that I'm going to bring to the table is probably a little bit more on the pricier side, but it kind of leads into the hobby of, uh, uh, for me personally, which has always been content creation, right? Um, I started Dadverb uh, and in large part because it was a great creative outlet. I love cameras. Cameras are, you know, aside from Pokemon cards, cameras are probably the thing I spend like the most on when it comes to like hobbies. Uh, and people always ask me like, you know, what is the best vlogging camera? I want to start, you know, creating content a little bit. I want to start doing a little bit more than just my phone. Uh, how can I get started? I want to shoot more family content, whatever, whatever. Uh, so that's kind of the first gift idea that I'm going to bring to the table. If this is something that you're looking into. And one of the newest things that just dropped from DJI is called the DJI pocket three. Uh, I am super excited yeah. about this camera. It's like this miniature, tiny little camera that's on this tiny little gimbal. Uh, you can shoot vertical or horizontal. It is a fantastic, mm -hmm. perfect camera that is easy to operate. You can pair it if you want better audio. You can pair it with the DJI uh, Mic Pro Kit, which is the base, uh, the the mic kit that I use in a lot of videos. I kind of have like this small little clip. People ask all the time, like, "What is that mic?" It's the DJI brand um, mic kit. DJI is the same brand that makes a lot of drones out there. Uh, same camera tech mm -hmm. um, on an awesome gimbal. I'm telling you, the, the the technology has just gotten like where when I started all this content stuff in 2016 to now, everything's gotten like smaller and better and faster 4k just such beautiful awesome footage the one downside to this is you know if this is gets idea this is like the big gift right this is pushing upwards of that 500 dollars mark so if you're looking for an alternate option you know something like the insta 360 uh where you know it's a really great action cam and in addition to being like a good vlogging camera uh gopro has always been such a good you know option as well um, but if you're into a camera mm -hmm. and you want to dabble in that content creation space, really the DJI has just been amazing. It's such a far cry from the the little point and shoot Sony's and, and the big Casey Neistat rigs that I started off with. Uh, really, really nice. fun. Um, but you know, I'm kicking off my list with a little bit, uh, more on the, um, more on the, uh, pricier side. Uh, but yeah. And if you did want, I'm sure you've seen some of those action videos where it's kind of like this global 360 where they're able to like rotate the footage it's really cool especially in kind of like the mountain ranges if you plan on mm -hmm. skiing or whatever but those insta 360 cameras i can't say enough about those but uh yeah uh pocket three Insta 360 uh, i think really really fun gift ideas especially if you want to dabble into that uh family content footage game so there you have it whose kiddo is that i'm hearing kids I think, dad life i think that's one of the that's, coolest that's mine <laughs> Yeah. Those are yours. Yeah, they're yeah, they're in is, bed. Real they're like going to bed right there. You there. Go, there you go. So I'm sure this, they could come so high. We're all if... putting our kids down. Yeah, nope. I know. I just got mine down. My daughter's still up right now, and we have yeah, a lot going on. But uh, what were you gonna say? So, about? so clar clarifying on this one, you call it DGI instead of Digi. Yeah, because I call it Digi. Yeah, it's D it, yeah, DJI. DJI. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I mean. 
I will say the thing about DJI, it's a Chinese, it's a Chinese company. And especially with drones, right. there's like a lot of like a bit of pushback, especially early on. And it's like, yo, these Chinese companies are already farming all your data. Now you're telling them your flight paths and all this stuff to get aerial views, <laughs> aerial maps of your local area. I'm like, it's uh, but DJI, <laughs> great pockets well, are amazing, amazing, the awesome DJI little pocket is... three. <laughs> Dodging innovations. Dodging sounds very. I, we uh, always just called it digi, I, digi yeah, drones. Yeah. I, I we no, always I'm really it I'm really excited three. about that Osmo, that three. Osmo Pocket Three because of yeah, the man. the video quality, Dude, um, it's... the size of it, the fact that you can just flip the screen left and right, and you go from vertical to landscape. You can pair it to a microphone. Dude, that's um, amazing. I think I will... that's probably one of the most exciting pieces of kit that's out right now. Dude, I, I I'd like the amount of just, time and production that I would go into like making stroller reviews and all that, and it, with like a larger, you know, this camera that I'm using right now, it's a Sony A7S III. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I honestly like movie. Oh, I'm not really gonna be doing stroller reviews anymore. I, you know, newsflash. But like, if I were to keep doing it, honestly, I wouldn't do like giant like three thousand mm -hmm. dollar cameras like that. I literally would just do this Osmo, set it on the 4K slow uh, 120. Uh, the uh, frame rate mm -hmm. and then just shoot just shoot walk it's just so it's in the pocket of your yeah. hand it's just in, it's like so it, it's like unnerving to me like how good and how easy it's gotten for people who want to be in the creation space it's just so it's so good right. mm -hmm. it's so good anyway we want to be uh, clear these are for these are for recording not live video recording recording right. not these live the, streaming yeah if you're if you're wanting to get into the like live, Twitch live streaming, hold it out no. do your live podcast that's not no that's not no, gonna no. work well uh, it'd be great for vlogging and stuff that you want to like shoot and edit and you know right. if you're trying to get in like twitch streaming or whatever no not 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 really you'd have to go a different oh. option but anyway I'll, I'll slow down and i'll kick it off to ben what you got man uh yeah so one of the things i also so <laughs> if i have too many things in my pockets and i need to carry some stuff around um, there are two bags that I use all the time that I think are incredibly useful and are some of the best that I've ever used. Um, I'm a real stickler when it comes to just the quality of like backpacks or, uh, crossbody bags, anything that I use, I want to make sure it's built really well out of really high quality materials. and has a good warranty behind it. So I've actually got two next to me. So if you guys are watching the YouTube version, you'll be able to see them. If you're not, you'll just have to listen. The first one is this. So this is the Alpaca Bravo X Sling. Yes. So this is a big crossbody bag, kind of tech focused. Like there's a, an outlet here where you can actually hook up a battery. Um, so if I need to charge my phone on the go, I can actually have a battery inside the bag. This is big enough that it's effectively served as like my on the go diaper bag. Um, so if I just have like one kid and all I need are, you know, a couple snacks and a few small things, um, I can carry that in here really easily. I also carry like my first aid kits, tourniquets, sort of just general everyday stuff that I would carry. Um, it is very nice and padded. It's got storage everywhere. I think this one runs, this is one of the special edition ones. I think it runs about $140, um, but comes again with a great like really robust warranty, um, fully water sealed zippers, uh, effectively waterproof. Um, so super great to wear. It's one of the most comfortable bags I've ever worn too. And it's like, like I'm 230 pounds. It fits basically almost all the way across my chest. Yeah. Um, so for me, like this is a large bag. So like if you're a smaller, you know, smaller guy, maybe this might be a little bit too big for them. Um, but you want to, uh, you definitely are going to have something that's durable. I throw it on the floor of my truck. It goes on the seats. I never had an issue with it. And I've had this for, I've been running this thing for at least a year. Um, and it looks, I mean, almost brand new. Yeah. Um, so this is something I carry every single day. And then the other item, and this one is big, but this is, uh, I'm real nerdy about my bag. So. Uh, again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can actually see this. This is the from a company called Vertex, V-E-R-T-X. I think this is the gamut bag. So this is like my everyday carry bag, everyday carry backpack, super padded, really kind of low profile if you want it to be. But if you want to, you can uh, like open it up, 
and it's got like Molly attachments on the front of it if you want. It's got all kinds of storage in the front. Um, there's even like space back here. There's space on the sides. There's expandable space in the front. So if you want to carry like jackets or larger items with you, um, but that thing I run, it's my main computer bag, my main work bag, um, but you can carry literally everything you need. Um, I've also run that as like a real quick diaper bag if I needed to, because it holds everything I need there very go. comfortably, very well organized. Um, and again, another item that has a super great warranty behind it. So if something does go wrong, you can get it fixed really quickly and easily. That alpaca, I think, is something that I asked about, like a similar uh, bag, and I got a bunch of people commenting on the Discord. Mm -hmm. It was like months ago, but I think that was the one that someone commented yeah. on. Uh, and it's yeah, that thing looks really, really cool, man. Um, and it's uh, it's I, I I I still haven't gone with one of those yet, but I'm guys. By the way, Ben was like even showcasing it for all our audio listeners. I would really this is one of the few episodes I'd really encourage you to be like. Hop onto YouTube, find us on Dadver Podcast on YouTube, and maybe you might want to like watch this one. Uh, it'll probably give you a better, better visual representation. But uh, Andrew, gift idea number two for guys, what you got, man? So, besides being a big foodie, I'm a huge tech garbage nerd. I have more gadgets and gadgets and headphones and stuff than anybody'd ever want. So. These are the Aftershock Calm bone induction headphones. Put them in the and middle. These so I can things see better. There you go. are absolutely amazing. They mm -hmm. go around your ears. They've got a boom mic. They run about 150, 200 bucks, depending on if you can get them on sale. They last about four or five hours. But the beauty mm -hmm. of these is you can hear crystal clear, and yet it leaves your ear open to do whatever so mm. the reason i own these is because on long car trips when i'm riding with the wife i can put these over my ears i can listen to my audiobook but she doesn't feel like i'm ignoring her because i've got earpuds in my ear while i'm driving they're still safe i can hear what's going on around me right okay, i was gonna ask if that everybody's yeah. asleep i can still hear the road but i can listen to my audiobook and keep driving right so i'm not disturbing people with the radio what have you whatnot um you amazing little device they charge really well magnetic charger so it pops right off if you trip or fall but um aftershocks open com they make one that is doesn't have the boom mic it actually has a little mm -hmm. here i'll rotate it out it actually has a little boom mic that i like oh, yes. personally um yeah. but they make one without it my wife uses them for work all the time because she got the non-com communication ones and she loves them as well again she's sitting at her desk it allows her to hear the kids it allows her to hear me if she's on a call 90 percent of the time they can't hear us because they are good at noise cancellation so it's best of both worlds excellent pair of little headsets and you can do the neck thing where you just hide them <laughs> if you don't want them on your head doctor move right but there i usually just leave them on my ears except for go. when i'm wearing awesome. my these are the steel series novas so these are these are my like i'm at the computer i actually need to have good audio and block <laughs> people out headsets because <laughs> they don't do anything but um those are those are my big ones so uh for the last one to kind of round this out, I would be remiss if I were to uh, leave off Pokemon cards. If you if you need to get Andrew a gift and you don't get me Pokemon cards, you're just stupid. OK, you're just stupid. OK, but if you're not going to get Pokemon I'm getting cards, what? What? cards, you're getting Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> no! cards and you're going to no, like it. Oh, <laughs> dude, this. No, but if, if you were to get me a different <laughs> gift idea, and I think this is really great. Um, uh, I got to dabble on the apparel. Um, I am a massive fan of built built athletics. Uh, I think they, uh, they're built basics. I love their drop cut shirts. Uh, I use the drop cut Lux. Uh, they're always on, they always have like good sales running around this time. They're like, I, I wear those more than any other. Um, the other brand that I really love, uh, it's a great athleisure brand is called legends. Uh, and you know, any, any shirts shorts especially from there i'll absolutely love a little bit pricier like you know 70 bucks per pair of shorts one of those things but just truly truly love them and uh, lastly you know if there's another you know apparel brand that you know kind of looking to add just a couple good key quality pieces um one was actually one that i think are you wearing it right now is that bad birdie uh 
Ben, if you're looking at his shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. If you're looking at Ben shirt right now, bad birdie is, uh, they've got amazing polos. Uh, and I've only recently, uh, kind of gotten turned on to that brand. Uh, the one that you're seeing, if you're watching on YouTube, Ben's wearing the, a T, uh, but they have great polos as well that I would, uh, encourage you to check out their golf polos. I love, uh, I'm, I'm wearing those to work. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you just need a good you know, a couple quality key pieces to your wardrobe. And for me, the three main brands that I'm kind of high on at the moment are Built Legends and Bad Birdie. I always want to say Bad Bunny, like a reggaeton rapper, but it's not. <laughs> it's Bad I know. Birdie. If I said Bad Bunny, I didn't well, mean Bad Bad Bunny. Uh, I meant Bad Birdie. Uh, so definitely yeah. check those out. Um, Dude, and and Bad Bad Birdie shirts are great. Like once you, once you have one, you end up with like ten. Yeah. It, so they are loud. They are very loud. Um, like a bunch of mine have like loud patterns like for pink sure. leopards and yeah, um, palm like trees and crabs all and over stuff. floral patterns, all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, <laughs> but they are fun if you have to wear a collar shirt to work, and you know you want to be a little less, uh, you know, blue Oxford shirt. Uh, then these are a great option for sure. Um, let's quickly so, get through, um, our, uh, gift ideas for, uh, our spouses. And I'm just going to go ahead and kick this off. Uh, this is short and sweet and I, it's kind of hard to like super dive into, uh, especially this, but, um, when it comes to like skincare and stuff like that, that could be a very touchy subjective thing. But I think one thing that my wife loves, all her friends love a lot of the ladies, um, that kind of are in that space, uh, th they love a brand called Tula. Uh, it is such a popular brand and I feel like anything that I get, and it's almost like it, the color of the brand is almost like this Tiffany blue kind of color. Uh, you could go to Sephora, um, get one of those, uh, really anything. I think they ha kind of have like this face wash, like a makeup remover. Um, they've got, a, you know, I'm not going to pretend to like understand all the intricacies of like the facial care of my wife. Uh, but when it comes to the brands, Tula, <laughs> T-U-L-A. Uh, sounds like the character from my big fat Greek wedding, um, but spelled differently, I think. Uh, if uh, you want to try to extend some sort of like, hey, by you know, I'm trying here. This I think this is a, this might be a cool thing. The brand Tula is usually a hit, at least among my wife and her friends. If you really want to try to dabble, now it's hard. I get like you know, I get it's hard to like pick like cologne or not clones. I'm sorry, like perfumes and lotions and whatever because every every person has their thing but um i don't think that would be a miss if, if you uh if you went with uh something from tula uh we'll go ben and andrew what are some uh what what are your first ideas for spouses um so the first one that i got so this was actually a gift for me but i think it's a great idea it's one of those things you've probably seen it on social media I, it's probably come across your feed especially if you have kids or you're married um, this I got for Father's Day. This is a chat book. Um, so I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So they made it. I am your father. It's all Star Wars themed. But this entire book is just photos. Oh, of sick, man. Me and my kids. That's beautiful. So it's like nice. this little That's photo really... album in chronological order of like just me and my kids doing different stuff like first swim lessons, hanging out in the backyard, backpacking. Um, and it's, I don't think they're super expensive, but like just taking the time to put together some of this stuff, uh, you know, for your wife who may not, you know, maybe all of her photos are on her phone. Maybe they're on Facebook, wherever yeah. taking the time to put them into like a physical album. I didn't realize like how special that book was going to be to me until I was gifted it. And I was like, man, this is so amazing to be able to just like, thumb through you know the life of my kids basically for the first couple of years um so chat books is a great great option uh relatively straightforward you upload your photos they print your book they mail it out to you after you approve the proof um and then you're good to go and you've got this great keepsake that you can throw up on your bookshelf and look at when you want to six man what you got Andy? you know the price on that one hmm. ben uh no i think it's under 50 bucks <laughs> well, this is so well it's relatively cheap walgreens will do the same thing they will not theme it for you but you can put together a, a foldable book and they uh they bind it for you i 
don't think the it's one thing I'll say nice. about the Walgreens though but, is I have had their hit or miss with the quality of their prints. Some are all right, some of them right. I just haven't been happy with. So that mm-hmm. there there is you gotta find a store that prints well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that is the one we've, thing if we've done. Oh, so the the classic the classic photo chat books start from fifteen dollars. And then oh, it just nice. depends on what you add to it and, and how you you know how you design it out. Like you can do soft cover, hard cover, different sizes different materials, different print quality. So you can kind of really design it exactly the way you want it. Um, and then, like I said, you have this great keepsake to, you know, look through. Um, I think we all kind of lose it with just having photos on our phones right. and just thumb through them anytime we want. But, you know, sometimes it's really nice to be able to look through like a physical photo album um, and just kind of relive some of those special moments. So for me, gifts for my wife are... I don't want to say difficult or hard, but I've never gone wrong with jewelry. It gets expensive. Um, that's <laughs> always been uh, a hitter, a, a positive. I've never had a bad reaction when I got a string of pearls or a new set of earrings. But mm-hmm. that being said, she likes homemade gifts. Caveat being Andrew hates homemade gifts. If you get me something homemade, I am likely to throw it away. Um so the it's it's this weird catch twenty two where she likes it if I make her something. I don't like to receive mm. homemade things. Mm. Um, so I do a lot <laughs> of projects that we can do together. So like there's a couple of uh, kits you can buy where it's like break this pot, put it back together with gold epoxy. It's kind of a relationship builder. Um, those kind of things have always been really good hits. Now, have we made the time to break the pot and put it back together? No, but she does like it. Um, mm. Trying to think of some other good ones I've done over the years. Oh, every year for our anniversary, she gets a forever rose. They run about a hundred bucks, but they, they're they roses that have been basically resined. And then uh, they have their gold or platinum or silver etch, edged. Um, actually hold that thought because our anniversary is coming up. I bet I can show you one. Although if she sees this on YouTube, she's going to know she's getting one. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's while, so, well, Andrew's pulling that up. I have, for uh, Rose. I have uh, a bunch of guests coming into my door right now. So I do need to uh, speed up, uh, kind of the end of this, uh, this podcast. So, oh, um, yeah. short episode guys. Uh, we're just going to rifle through our, the last ideas on Andrew's note. I will say there is, oh, that's oh, beautiful, cool, Andrew. Andrew. If you're checking out on YouTube, Andrew, put it more yeah. centered, centered. There you go. Nice, man. So that's, that's the forever rose. It's a full stem, long stem red rose. She gets one every year for our anniversary. Um, the idea being that on our like 40th wedding anniversary, she'll have a giant bundle of these things, right? So That's so sick, actually. Comes in a nice little gift box. So, um anyway so uh really quick we're each each of us are just going to rifle through the last ideas here uh on andrew's note um if you check out the brand uh made by mary made by mary uh they actually really do really cool delicate elegant minimalist really pretty jewelry if you are looking for that thing uh but the, the i'm gonna round it out with a really simple idea uh and it's one that i just got my wife uh, and she absolutely loves it it's, it's a kindle got her an amazon kindle she's she's uh, a paper white dude i thought that was gonna be a throwaway gift i was like i just uh, just, i don't know maybe she'll like this whatever she absolutely (laughs) loved this there you go he's got it right there if you haven't added a kindle uh yet get a simple paper white man thing is amazing ben andrew what you guys got Uh, my last one i will say along those same lines andrew one of the best things we've gotten is an audible subscription so my wife doesn't have a lot of time to read between us and the kids. 15 yep. bucks a month, you get a credit. She gets a new book every month. She can pre-order new books that she likes. So one of the things we've been doing, uh, you know, after we put the kids down is I like to listen to music. She likes to listen to a book. To reset the house, we throw our headphones in and we literally just like listen to whatever we want and do all of our chores in like one go. Nice. That's a big time for her to listen to, you know, an audio book, either there in the car and she enjoys it. It's great huge selection always a hit there you go and this one's gonna be lame but my very last one gift cards are never a bad idea they're not they will save you every time those are good pick a pick a store you know they like 
pick a if you say hey i'm gonna get them a 25 dollar gift get them a 50 dollar gift card like yeah. if you're not gonna do the work to think through what their gift from the store should be <laughs> double down on the cash get them a bigger gift card no one has ever gone wrong by getting a ca- an envelope full of cash or a gift card to a store they like dude that's actually just throwing and, it out and there guys people also <laughs> what everybody forgets though one just one last thing what everybody forgets is like you can also get gift cards for things like airbnb Yep. So mm-hmm. like you can get travel gift cards. So restaurant do like, gift you know, cards, two hundred dollar gift card. Oh. Yeah, great idea. Yep. One year from my birthday, my wife got nothing but gift cards to the exact same massage parlor. She had massages three or four times a year. It was great. She had four or five hundred bucks. The whole family got together. We all went to the same spot, mm-hmm. and she had free massages effectively. I um, often toss in like a, a or... Lulu gift, a Lululemon gift card, and I'll, I'll, I, and those things are pricey, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll put in a hundred on there. But like, gift cards are always super solid, especially to like food yep. or or other events. I think it's really cool, guys. This is actually really fun to be able to talk about products like this. We shouldn't just do this in the holidays. I think we can totally do this. Um, you know, like what's making us happy, things we're really enjoying a little bit more throughout the year. But uh, it is fitting that it's the holidays. So if you guys liked it, let us know. Uh, that'll do it for this week's episode of the dad Bird podcast i'm sorry for the rushed end here because they literally have people coming through the door right now because you've got like a little uh, house Happy party holidays. going on yeah uh, but again, this is how it the, works this is how it is guys um but again check the links in the show notes uh or in the youtube description uh for any of the things that we chatted about uh and you can also join us on discord that link is going to be in the description or the show notes of um, wherever you get your podcast. Uh, also, visit dadbird.com if you're interested in courses for pregnancy up through year one of fatherhood. I should probably f- do a discount around this time of year. I, I usually do that. I'll figure that out. Probably announce it <laughs> here in a little bit. As always, thank you for listening, and we'll catch you <laughs> on the next episode of the Dadbird Podcast. Peace. Guys, I'm sorry. For-